we had the same thing when we, each time we enlarged our space. I was telling someone today, it was Pamela, wasn't it? Where are you, Pamela? I told today that, that here was my litmus for new space. Like I asked her, have you out, she's in CrossFit Philadelphia. Are you full there? Yeah, some days yes, some days no. I said, you will find a week, and you make a note of it every time I ask you, when a client looks you in the eyes very seriously, says, dude, you need a larger space, take note. Because when you've heard that three times in a week, you now have an ethical and a financial obligation to be a bigger space. If they're overcrowded to the point they're complaining, you're losing business. Every time it gets too crowded, you can afford a bigger space. You can't afford not to get a bigger space. That's how easy taking care of the clients are. So here we are. We're debating whether to get a bigger space or not. And I do what you're told to do. This is the MBA style. You make the big lists of the pros and the cons. And of course, you know, the pros, blah, blah, blah. The cons, it's going to cost more money. Will I get more people? I don't know. I mean, how do you tell? Every time my mood changes, my assessment changes. What if I'm trying to look at this strictly as a financial decision, trying to make a smart financial decision? So here's what we did. I can't figure it out, but fuck it. it would, here's the question. Would our current customers have a better program if we had more room? And I was like, yeah, I'd get more rowers, I'd get longer pull-up bars, look at this, we could do this workout, we could do that workout, we could do this, we could get a little fleet of mountain bikes, we did all of that. And I go, would that be better for the punters? And the answer was a resounding, oh yes, there was no doubt about it, so we did it. And with trepidation, if you don't go into business with trepidation, you're a fool. You're a fool. You're, you're going to fail. You don't know what to be afraid of, because you, you ought to be afraid of going out of business. So we do it. You should have seen the, the CrossFit style demolition too. The guys were showing up early, they had all planned, they're gonna throw the kettlebells through the wall until it all <laughs> came down. Now am I saying go out and get a little space somewhere and then as soon as you can tear down a wall and like magic people can come in. No, what I'm telling you though is if you're bursting at the seams, if you're working at capacity, if you excuse me, no, you go, no, where am I gonna go do this workout? You're pouring out on the sidewalk. I'm telling you, you can afford more space. But that's not even the real message. The real message is, you find excellence, and I, my claim is that it's obvious to everyone, and here's the magic, the money will come to you. Now, being a trainer, I've, got, I've had access in great uh, intimacy with people from all walks of life, doctors, lawyers, accountants, athletes, bums, drug dealers, billionaires, uh, uh, Silicon Valley tycoons, I've seen all kinds of people, all kinds of people. And I've seen all kinds of people achieve enormous success on all fronts and by all estimations. But I've never seen it come about through anything other than a blinding passion and commitment to excellence. Whatever it is, a, an abiding, unflinching, unrelenting commitment to excellence will generally make people rich. And, and rarely have I seen consistent with that model the golds, worlds, valleys, 24 hours. I see it at songs. I see it here. We're changing the world, doing all the right things for all the right people for all the right reasons. And it's a, it's a load of fun. Questions?